the issues with these portable ACs is that the uh, vent hose can be really restrictive and really limit your movement. But I put one of those foil dryer hoses on here and now this thing can really move around. I got a lot more movement here. I can move this around in all different kinds of directions where before I was really limited. The hose that comes with these things is so rigid you can barely move it. So this gives you a lot more freedom. But this isn't as durable. Those the hoses that they come with are really rigid, but they're also really durable. So that's one of the downsides to this. You get a lot more mobility, but you lose a little bit of your durability. But as long as you don't abuse it, these are pretty nice. And plus, they're pretty cheap. You can always just replace it if you end up ripping it or damaging it. But if you're going to retrofit this, you're going to need to get yourself a different clamp. I bought this clamp here, and I thought it was pretty nice. The only downside to it is it's a little bit hard to turn this. I thought it'd be easier to use because it has this nice plastic nib on it. But the old-fashioned kind with just a screw on it are a little bit easier because then you can get your screwdriver in here and turn it that way. But all in all, it seems to work pretty good. Got a nice clamp on here, but I couldn't clamp it to the vent here, so I ended up having to use the uh, heat tape on there. I had the heat tape on here, but it didn't last because there's not a very big area. This is a pretty small area. This is a lot bigger area here to cover that too. I just have it venting out back here. All that hot air is coming out this way. This isn't a perfect setup. I got another vent up here that I couldn't close because I got the hot water heater over here and it needs to have a vent by it. One of the things I want to do is I want to frame in this part of the garage and have that be a hot water closet, but I'll need to put some vents in the wall because you have to have vents near your gas hot water heater. So in the meantime, I have a little bit of heat coming in there so it's not uh, perfectly self-contained. And then I haven't got the garage door insulation kit up yet. So those two things will help. Once I get the garage door insulation kit up, that'll really help. And then once I get some vents in here uh, for the hot water heater, then I can frame this area in and then I'll be able to close this off and then I'll be able to kind of cool this area down a little bit better. If I could get a transom vent to put right there, that might be the way to go. But in the meantime, the best thing to do is just to point the AC unit at you and it feels pretty good. It's got 64 degrees blowing out of there, so that really helps. But yeah, if you want to see how the garage door insulation kit goes, make sure you subscribe because I plan on putting that up pretty quick.